Welcome to Milo's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. So, the X-Shot Pro has become such a phenomenal head. I've gotten a request to send one to Saber Blasters in Singapore. Actually, they wanted two of them. So, these blasters just came in. I figured I would show you guys how to pack stuff if you're shipping internationally. Every law in every country is a little different when you ship, okay? So, most countries, they don't like blasters that are shipped as a normal blaster you have to disassemble them like if you look those are internals for an x-shot long shot there's the other set of internals so grips, bunch of stuff. i mean guns totally disassembled yeah the blaster is 100 broken down ready for shipping so this is what you do okay i've got a big box yeah and a couple grocery store bags now what happened was that I'm in Saber Discord, and Conrad, very nice man, very wise man, he asked me for help. Help in getting these blasters. Well, I mean, I excellent said, packing. Yeah, so I said, okay, no problem, Conrad, my friend, more than glad to assist you. So, I ordered the two blasters. They came in a couple days ago, and what you're seeing now is me shipping them out. <laughs> And I'm taking these blasters, I'm wrapping them like this because I'm leaving some of the springs inside. You know, most of the guts have been removed, 99% of them have been removed and they're all in these bags ready to go. No, and this All is, with electrical tape to make sure they're sealed. Right. I mean, it's rather interesting when you ship internationally because a lot of times you, you have to go by weight and weight is everything. This box weighs 8 pounds. Okay, I've already weighed out the box and everything ahead of time. Which is, it is what it is. Now, just to let you cats know, these blasters cost $30 a piece, okay? 30 bucks. To ship them to Singapore, it's like $300. That's international shipping raping you. Right. I don't ever want to hear anybody complain about international shipping until they have to send stuff abroad like this. Okay? Now, what Conrad did was that because he has business accounts with FedEx and UPS and stuff like that. They must love the man. Yeah, they really do. Uh, they decided, he decided just to place the order and arrange to pick up so that way they would come to my house to pick up the product. And all that customs has already been notified, everything. So I'm loading the blasters in here to the internals. This right here, that's the that's the grips, the four grips. You know, the, the little fur scars and all that other crap. Goes in there too. Yep. These are the half-length mags and the adapters. I'm gonna throw in the, the half-length darts as well and the instructions. Now, one of the things I'm also going to do, but I'm not going to put that on camera, is that your package will undoubtedly be opened by customs somewhere, either in the United States when it leaves, or in Singapore, or wherever the blaster lands at. So, we give them a note. So, what I do is I put a note inside the box, and it says, basically, greetings, uh, custom inspector. These are toy blasters. They they shoot foam darts. That's all they are. They're not dangerous or a weapon or anything like that. Do you have any questions? And then I give them my name, address, telephone number, email address. You know, that's it. Just so when they open their box, they say, oh, wow, look, there's a note. And it is a toy. Let me send it on its way, you know, rather than dealing with customs snagging the package like they're fond of doing it like Australia. <laughs> But yeah, it's everything fits inside the box. Everything's ready to go. I'll be sending this out to Conrad Monday morning, and he'll be more than happy to receive these blasters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching on how to pack and ship blasters internationally. Until next time, this is Milo's Mods signing off.